so he's probably not going to do it now, but he is starting to go after the starter on his own. So that is that is a great thing to see. I set it down here and come here, come here, come here. And he'll, he'll go right for it. He likes it. So that's a great, great thing to see because I want him weaned so we can get him sold and get him out of here. Because that is the goal. Because we're not going to have big cows uh, out here. Because I don't have the space for big cows, but I have a space for a lot of little cows. So, uh, yeah, look at him. Yes, that makes me happy. Good job. Good boy. So happy to be seeing that. So, quick update on him. He's kind of nibbling at it, but he's got some, some funky poops going on. They don't stink. So, I don't think... I'm not concerned about it, but I, he was kind of getting some loose stool, so I did give him some eggs. And... Uh, in his bottle, so I, I know some other one I give him eggs. Kind of a funky poop, so I'm not too concerned yet. Cause he's in great shape, he's doing good. Big strong boy. I think he's nibbling on his, his uh, starter too. Um, yeah, you get big and strong, you get big and strong. All right, I'll be right back. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm gonna wire this one together so I can swivel it out of the way. I'm gonna try it, at least on one. There it is. All right, before I load this up, I did this one a little different. So you see how it's wired on this side? And then it's, you know, let me see if I can climb in here real quick. All right, so it's wired on this side, and on this side here, just kind of zip screwed it, and then we cut it like that on the bottom and top. So now this will actually, like, hinge open. So I don't have to lift the whole thing up. So you just unwire it there, and you can swivel this, swivel this open. So we're gonna try it out. It's kind of a new, new idea because the other ones are just zip screwed on both sides. So just a little update there. All right. So just an overview here because I just showed a couple clips. I don't really like to film a lot when I'm working with my father-in-law because it'd just be a pain in my butt. So that was kind of overview of what we started with and what we did. But basically, you're just gonna take the cage off. You're gonna cut it out. So you keep the edges and this one like I said is zip screwed together but so far this has worked great um, they don't move them I, I read some online so people think they'll move them around they don't like he's he, these these two big Holsteins right here they don't they don't move it at all and if you're wondering why I have Holsteins there's a video something's done a little backwards here but trust me it'll be all right um, but they don't move it around and there's some Pretty big cows, I man. He's like 95 pounds. He's 90, and they're both in here temporarily, very temporarily. So don't worry. But they haven't moved it around. So these work great. Uh, if you can get a deal on these, way cheaper than buying like a commercial calf hutch. So I was just anyone looking to kind of get going on a budget, kind of bootstrapping. These work amazing.